Welcome back to Couponing. Bye, Felicia. Yes, I am here today, you guys. I am here. It is the week of February 21st. And yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. I miss you. I miss you. If this is your first time tuning in, you are watching Work to Live, Not Live to Work, your everyday source for couponing, everyday savings, and travel recommendations. Yes, yes, yes. So we are at ShopRite this week. And literally, you guys, when I say this is a, um, I'm running in to ShopRite shopping trip. I'm running into ShopRite this week and I'm taking you guys with me. So um, happy belated Valentine's Day. Happy belated um, President's Day. Um, it's so much that has been going on. I spent some time in Connecticut playing it safe. I went to Walnut Beach, uh, visited some of the places over there. Um, of course, I'm being safe as possible. Like I said, wearing my mask every place I go. I'm not doing any clubbing, even though I wish I could. I wish I could be on a plane somewhere, but I'm not. So I'm trying to play it safe. I'm just trying to make it through the pandemic, you guys. It's not easy, but taking it day by day. And um, hand sanitizer, Lysol. Um, and that's how I'm just making it things happen. And just um, being mindful of... Just the way you catch the common cold to me is how I'm thinking of how you can catch the COVID. So just like when it was uh, uh, before with the um, cold and flu season, you just stay away from people so that you don't get a cold. Just like if you hear a child sniffling or something, you hear a child has a cold. So you don't want to take your child next to the other child that has a cold. It's just common sense. But this, you don't know who has what, so just be careful out there, you guys. You know, it's 2021, and um, I just want to make it to 2022. <laughs> so I'm rambling right now. So yes, I'm going into ShopRite right now, so I'm getting this trip started early today. Um, like I said, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. If you are just tuning in, give the video a thumbs up. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, subscribe to the channel so you can capture some of these amazing deals that I normally do the, uh, every week. Um, with the pandemic, I get started in the car so that you can hear me clearly and see my beautiful face. So I'm going to go ahead and head on into ShopRite. Remember that you can leave all your comments, questions, concerns in the description box below. No, I leave everything in the description box. You can leave it in the comment section below and then we can all go from there. All right, let's get ready to go inside. So I'm getting started in the produce area. The cherries are on sale this week for $4.99. I'm going to grab about one pound of cherries. This wasn't on my list. I was going to pick up the Granny Smith apples. They are on sale for $1.79 a pound. But um, I can get more cherries than I can get the apples and the cherries will last longer. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick up some cherries. All right, so next I'm going to grab um, Wholesome Pantry Organic Oranges. That says grapes. <laughs> uh, the oranges are right here. <laughs> uh, they are $4.99 for the bag, four pound bag. Let me just make sure, yep. So this is Wholesome Pantry Organic Naval Oranges. This is the ShopRite brand, as you can see. So if I had no coupons, of course, it would be $4.99. But I do have a Catalina that says um, $1 off of any Wholesome Pantry purchase, $3 or more. So these are $4.99. I'm going to walk out paying $3.99 out of pocket for the four-pound bag of oil. Wholesome Pantry Organic Oranges. So right now, the exact item that I need is being restocked, which is a lovely thing. The cucumbers are three for $1.99 this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up three of them. So two things. The first thing is Catalina's. If you're not familiar with Catalina's, Catalina's print out from my 
previous shopping trip. So when you uh, pay, once you finish from your uh, grocery shopping, always collect the Catalinas that come out at the cash register. You might not be able to use them at that point in time, but you'll be able to use them on your next shopping trip. So the second point, oh my goodness, somebody was just mentioning it. My supermarket, which somebody mentioned a few months ago, was going on at their supermarket. So my supermarket is being rearranged right now. So if I didn't have the app, I would be going bananas. So the app is working wonderfully. And I found out like the, the next item on the list was relocated. So I'm like, what is it doing down this aisle? But the app located everything perfectly so far. So it might be a scavenger hunt later on, but right now it's perfect. So the next item on the list. So the next item on the list is Del Monte fruit. So the fruit refreshers are on sale for $1.99. I have the fruit and oats on sale for $1.99 and the fruit and chia are the ones that participate for the coupon that I'm about to show you for $1.99. If we had no coupons, we would be paying $3.98 out of pocket. I was able to print out these two coupons from Del Monte's website, which the link is in the breakdown in the description box below. That's gonna take off $1.50. So we're going to walk out paying $2.48. But wait, there's more. So on top of that, Ibotta has a $0.75 cents back rebate for the two of them. So the net cost is going to be $1.73 for two of these fruit refreshers. So I'm excited. I don't think I've tried these before. So this will be my first time giving them a try. We'll see how it goes. So as I'm walking to the next item on the list, a lot of people are mentioning, oh, they changed this, oh, they changed that. So I am referring everybody to the app, which I normally use, which is the ShopRite app, is how I do my shopping trip. I make sure everything is in my shopping cart before I leave the house. And then when I'm in the supermarket, I uh, turn on the app and it tells me where everything is. So like if I'm looking for chips, it'll tell me it's an aisle nine or whatever I'm looking for. So that's how it is helping me right now. Also, this ShopRite offers Wi-Fi, so it helps make things a little easier. So I am loving it right now. Everybody looks like they're on a scavenger hunt where I'm just using the app to find exactly what I'm looking for. And bingo, here it is. So ShopRite is actually helping a little bit. They have a, a note of where the items were previously. So this is what was here before and they're telling you what aisle it moved to. But you know, if you was with me on the last shopping trip, I um, spontaneously grabbed some bowl and basket sour cream and onion chips. Oh my goodness, they were so good, you guys. <laughs> so I'm not disappointed with ShopRite's brand bowl and basket chips. So I'm gonna grab them again. They are 94 cents. It's ShopRite brand uh, potato chips, sour cream and onion, 94 cents. No coupon, they were just super good. And sometimes I just want something crunchy. So I'm grabbing. And it's a decent size. So they're the eight ounce bags that are 94 cents. I'm making sure I'm grabbing the right one, sour cream and onion. A wonderful, a big, a huge, huge, huge a thank you to Jones Dairy Farms. Oh my goodness, let me tell you why. So uh, like a month or two ago, ShopRite had these on sale three for $5. And this was the first time I tried the products. Guys, let me tell you, I sent the email to Jones Dairy Farms to see if they had some coupons. They were nice enough to send some coupons and they do have a, um, a mailing address where you can request coupons, but the sausages are on sale this week for $1.99. Let me tell you, they were the best turkey sausages that I have ever had. So I just had to send them an email letting them know. And when I did that, oh my goodness, they were so kind enough to send me back coupons. So today I do have a dollar off Jones Dairy Form products. So I'm gonna walk out paying 99 cents out of pocket. I can only use one today. And the reason I had to read the small print, which you should always do with your coupons, it says limit one coupon per customer, and it doesn't expire till the end of this year. So I'm gonna walk out paying 99 cents for my new favorite turkey sausage, Jones Dairy Farms. If you guys haven't tried it, it's on sale this week for $1.99. Give it a try. Oh my goodness, they're delicious. 
All right, you guys, I told you it was gonna be short, but the next and last item on the list is Nick's ice cream. So this will be my first time trying their brand. It's on sale this week for $2.88. If we had no coupons, it would be $5.76 out of pocket, but you know I got coupons. If you go to Nick's official website, they do have coupons available for printing. I was able to pick up two of these coupons from Nick's website for $2 off of one. Let me just make sure they're not duplicate coupons. And the way I can determine if something is not duplicate because we don't want to commit coupon fraud here all coupons have a different set of numbers on it or something that will tell you that okay these are different coupons so you see this number right above here the top one says 0239 the bottom one says 2078 so they are different coupons so sometimes the numbers might be identical over here and that's how I can tell they're different all right, so I'm gonna pick up two of these and we're gonna walk out paying $1.76 out of pocket for Nick's ice cream. And like I said, this is my first time trying it. So I see their mint chocolate chip. So they, they got a different spelling of it. I'm gonna give it a try. I might pick up another one. If no, I only see vanilla, coffee. No, I'm just gonna do two mint, uh, mint chocolate chips from them. And that's it. All right, you guys, so as I normally say, grab a quiet corner or quiet owl. I started this take in another owl that I thought was gonna be quiet, so I had to retake. Um, go through all of your apps, go through your um, rebate sites to make sure the items that you're picking up are qualified for the rebates. Um, the reason why I say this, you want to select them before you leave the house, of course, but when you get to the supermarket, sometimes these items time out. They expire while you're in the supermarket, uh, while you're in the supermarket. So if you want to be sure to grab that rebate or that coupon, always make sure it's still attached by the time you check out of the supermarket. And I know sometimes life happens, so we don't have time to do that, but it's always a best, a best practice to take a look at your app before you check out to make sure everything is there. Um, like I said, I think I have one rebate and not even any digital coupons this week. So I'm just doing a quick run. There weren't a lot of items that I needed at the supermarket today, but I do have additional items on the breakdown to help you and your household. Of course, you can tweak the breakdowns to work for your household. If I get two of something and you only need one, of course, change it. Make sure the calculation works for you. And of course, if you wanna help out the coupon community, you can always leave your breakdowns in the comments below. And if it is an accurate breakdown, I will pin it to the top so other people can benefit from it as well. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of work to live, not live to work, your source for everyday savings, travel recommendations, and of course, couponing. Bye, see you next time. Alrighty, so when I was talking about the Catalinas, these are the Catalinas over there that comes out after I scan everything. So I'm about to check out, I don't know how this shopping trip is gonna go. I'm scanning my Price Plus card right now, and I'm just hoping for the best. You know, that's all we can do at the end of the day. <laughs> so like I said, a few things switched up. I wanted more fruit this week. So we're at 25 right now and I'm gonna start scanning the coupons. Uh oh, coupons draws full. Here we go. Oh man, I need to determine. Please insert your coupons. Oh yeah, yeah.
So this coupon did not double. And the last coupon. So that was my last coupon. This is it. <laughs>